How you doing? We can't see you. The, your your Wi Fi foggy, boo. Oh, there, oh, there we go. That's better. There, there we what, go. What's your name? Azad. Azad? Yes, ma'am. Azad, where are you calling me from? Philadelphia. Philly's in the building. How old are you? 34. 34. What you do for a living? I am an entrepreneur and I'm about to be a CEO. You about to do you about to be a what, honey? A CEO. A CEO. All right, yes. so Azad. Um, Azad, when's your birthday or zodiac sign? March 30th. I'm an Aries. He's an Aries. You have any children? Biologically, no. Was you once married? Unfortunately. Unfortunately? What was wrong with being married? It's not wrong being married. It's just the person I married. Ooh, child. How long was you married for? Uh, unfortunately, seven years too long. Okay, you gotta tell me why this was such a horrible marriage. Uh, cause my ex-wife was for everybody except for me. How'd you find out she was cheating on you? Uh, some people are real loyal to me, and they might have told me like, "Bro, your wife is in my DMs," and sent me screenshots. And she wasn't having sex with you. Yeah, and try to have sex with everybody else. So, so did she ever explain herself why she was doing that? No, she just for the streets and not for me. <laughs> and when did you? You said you were married for seven years. So when did you find all this out? Uh, within forty eight hours of being married. Then why'd you stay with her for seven years? Uh, she put me through hell trying to get a divorce for seven years. So I stayed the, with what, her for. We lasted nine days. So you had a happy nine days, and then you wanted a divorce, and it took seven years. You could have got an annulment if you got married in nine days. They said that nothing met the criteria for an annulment, so I was stuck. I don't know if I, I. I think you're not telling the full story. I'm, I'm not, not saying that. Lie. Well, I'm saying this. Maybe you wasn't as ready to leave as you're saying you were, because oh, if you were really ready to leave after nine days. And you're going to stay in the marriage for seven more years? What it come down to, when I wanted to get a divorce, she would block me. And in, in a nutshell, if she didn't get her way, it's like, a, oh, yeah, I'm going to block you. Block you how? Social media, phones, everything. That wasn't living together? What do you mean she's blocking you? I left. Wait, wait, okay, you got to explain this. So you got married. I and, and got when, married. When... I thought the grass was green on the other side. I'm going to keep it 100. Since you really want to know the truth, I married the side chick that slid in my DMs. After a year, can't make this up. So you had a girl, you had a main girlfriend, and mm -hmm. then uh, then you started cheating on her with a girl that came in your DM. I wasn't necessarily cheating. We went through some stuff, and I thought the grass was green on the other side because I had an older woman, and that grass was brown, brown, brown. Set the grass on fire, brown. And the side chick was younger. Older. Oh, like the side chick was older. older. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. So you got with her, and then tell me what happened. How'd y'all get married? Um, I told her I wasn't with the whole sitting there playing back and forth. I was ready to settle down and have a family. And she went with it, and it didn't happen. And then you got married, and then tell me, like, the moment you found out she wasn't loyal and when you wanted to leave. Uh, I found out she wasn't loyal, and then I confronted her on it, and she hit me with that. I swear to God on my dead dad, it's not true. But when you got the proof in black and white, I mean, you can't swear on a dead person, right? Well, some people don't take it serious, so it is what it is. But you got, okay, but let, let me get to the part of the story where I'm confused. So. It's the comments for me talking about the wife in the room. The wife's not in the room. The wife is in a whole other state. Leave her there. What? The comments say the wife is in the room. I'm capping. My wife is in another state. Okay, so you guys separated when after you got married? Nine days later. So after after being married for nine days, y'all got separated. And so then you were still legally married. Was legally married to her, unfortunately, yeah. So when you left after nine days, y'all never lived together again throughout seven years? No. Not so one for, time. Not one time. So when was the last time you had sex with your wife? May 2016. I don't know. Somebody do the math and let me know. What, what May year did 22nd, you get married? 2016. I got what? married June 2015. 
Okay, so the a following year, you guys hooked up again. It okay. was just, uh, let me pull up right quick because she hit my phone and she called me at a vulnerable time and it never happened again. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so, um, whoop child. So now when did you get elite, when did you get legally divorced? This month and I'm happy, I hate her. You just got legally divorced this month. Some people in the comments are saying, do you think you need time to heal? Do I think I need time to heal? No, considering we were separated for so long, what I need to heal from. <laughs> okay, but you consider, now let me ask you this. The reason we even got here is because you said you didn't have any biological kids. So you still have a bond with her children. Um, I did, but she told me I'm no longer allowed to have a bond with my 21-year-old stepson. Well, he's 21. Why would you need to go through her? Exactly. But he don't want to go against his mom, which is understandable. That's your mom. I'm not going to force you to go against it. I mean, if he hit my phone, I'd still be there. But I don't think you're as over the situation as you may think. You'd be surprised. I've been over a situation that's a restraining order the whole nine type of I'm done with it. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you have a restraining order? Why was that necessary? Because she's weird and she harasses me for no reason. Okay. And I asked um, her to leave me alone, and she like, oh, block me. I'm still going to bother you. We have over 9,000 people in the building. Shout out to over 9,000 people. Asad, I am so confused, but let me try to figure this out. So now you're officially divorced. Um, this is Asad Philly, 34, Aries, entrepreneur, and you have no biological kids. What kind of woman are you looking for now, baby? What kind of woman am I looking for? Somebody that's established, that's not going to be for the streets and be for me. And she got to have her own everything. She got to have her own everything? Okay. Can she have kids? Absolutely. I love kids. Do you want any biological children of your own? No, I'm fine with playing the stepdad role. Okay. Does she have to look a certain way? Um, Nah. I'm not picky on looks. Okay. Does she have to make a certain amount of money? As long as she's making her own money, can take care of herself without me. Absolutely. She's fine with me. Okay. This is a side Philly, 34 Aries, entrepreneur, CO, no biological children. Okay. Okay. It's a lot. Right. Um, let's, oh, right. they said, who's the, who's the baby or the child they hear in the background? Oh, the little person they see in the Why background. That's my nephew. That's your nephew. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's, let's do the Kendrick can. Oh, man. She said, let's do the Kendrick can. Oh, 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 my poodle. Oh, 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 my God. Get over here. Oh, my poodle. Get out here. I'm not. Side side. I'm going to fight you. We can't oh. see you, boo. Who is oh, the Daniel? camera? Yeah, come down. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, oh. But we can't see him. You got to put the camera on here. I'm going to the camera right there. By the Christmas tree. This is the worst camera person, child. I'm going to see by my Christmas tree. By the Christmas tree. Don't let that happen. All right, bring the camera down, babe. Oh. Yo, you're going okay, to okay. Still. But, okay, Asai, we see you. We, we see you, love. Get the phone back. Get the phone back. <laughs> right, right, right. Get the phone back. <laughs> My camera people is terrible. I'm going to get me some new ones. You are crazy. Um, okay, let's get All right, Asai, back to you. Yes, ma'am. All right, back to you. All right, what was your last relationship? It was, was, was were you dating before. while you were separated? Don't say it's the baby hole. Yeah, home. I did date while I was separated. <laughs> okay, no, so <laughs> you hear the baby in the background. Um, so when was your last relationship? No, I said Kendra. Uh, my last relationship was like a year ago, give or take. Say again, baby. My last serious relationship was like a year ago. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm gonna ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? You want to be completely honest? This morning. Oh. This morning? Who's this girl? <laughs> One of my favorite exes. We like real cool. Like, uh, I don't trust everybody, so it's like a... Uh, one person at a time. So if I ever catch something, I know who to kill. That type of thing. Is 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 she an option for long term? <laughs> is she an option for long term? Um, yeah. want to be completely honest? Yeah, only if somebody will be in a poly relationship. But it gotta be a female. What happened? I said she will only be an option if I can have another girlfriend that'll be in a poly relationship. Otherwise, so if you no. have two girlfriends, you want to have two girls? I'm here. Absolutely. Tell me why you need two women. Why well, I need two women? Because I've come to realize that a lot of women actually like women, but they like men at the same time. So you got the best of the both worlds. That's fine. 
Okay, so you'll be in a relationship. Now, does this go for any woman, period? She has to be open to you having another girlfriend? I mean, they got to be girlfriends with each other. I'm just Oh, so you want her, to be, want her to be a lesbian? I mean, she don't necessarily got to be a lesbian, but... Cause not because, we're, okay, like listen, be because we're down this road, they're telling me to ask you this question, and I hope I, I, I hope it's not inappropriate. But you can't me offend ask, me with nothing. Huh? I said you can't ask me anything inappropriate or offend me. Go for it. Was you born a man with a penis? Absolutely was not. You, you was born a woman? I would have never known. Oh, my God. <laughs> what are you trying to tell me? I was going to. How do you have I a beard? Not ashamed of it. I do have a beard. I have how, a beard. I have a how do you have everything. a beard? Uh, I always had facial hair, but as I transitioned, it just came out more. So you was you was born a woman with a vagina. Absolutely. Do you still have a vagina? No, man. What? Well, okay. When was you gonna tell me this important part? I was getting to that important part because that's We're the at best the end. part. I'm almost about to say goodbye. Like, like I knew it. I knew. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fix this too. Follow me. I don't care. Follow me. Do anything. Right. It's a chemistry. Right. right. No, I'm gonna tell you because that's the best part. Because I tell everybody, I'm not ashamed of who I am, who I was born, not nothing. You don't have to be ashamed, and that's fine. But I had Go no ahead. idea. And literally, if the people in the comments weren't pressing me to ask you. Oh, oh no, I would have said it without them asking. Hold on, because... hold on a second. I'm about to kiss. Hold on. Patrice, first of all, I don't got to act like shit. Patrice says, stop acting surprised. If I'm acting surprised, it's because I am surprised. I'm not a goddamn actress. I mean, I have no you, Kendra, you don't got to explain yourself. So, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on a second. So don't tell me to not act surprised. If I'm surprised, excuse me, I'm surprised. Somebody Patrice, said this is the best soap opera I've ever seen. Shoot. <laughs> But I am shocked. So I, I, I want to probably start. Y'all got to start telling me in the beginning because it's very uncomfortable to ask that question because let's just say you was born with a penis. You would be so offended. But I had no idea. I don't know what you was going to tell me. Oh, no. I was, I'm never offended. It's absolutely nothing. These comments that I'm reading is actually pretty funny and they can't even offend me. So now I got another question about your marriage. Did your ex-wife cheat on you with a man? No, ma'am. It was a woman. All the women. All the women. I did Who's... find out that she slept with one of my brothers before we started dealing with each other, though. She slept with one of your brothers? Actually, it was two of them. They was identical twins, but, I mean, that's on her. Who child? Um, um, yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me the truth? I have no reason to lie to you. It's the truth. You want me to get the Bible? I put my right hand. That's my little brother on the wall behind me. He passed away. I can put it on my brother if you want. I don't got a lot. I don't want you to do that. You don't got to do all that. All right. So why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Why would a woman be lucky to be with me? Because I am very faithful and I commit and I'm a loving person until you rub me the wrong way. But I mean, that's every area, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I'm. I'm just still. Yeah. I guess, okay. You in shock, and my inbox is jumping right now. So let me ask you this. Do you want to be with a woman that's a lesbian or a woman that's straight? Um, I prefer a straight woman, but, I mean, I'm not opposed to lesbian women. Okay. And can she, and you are to, can she be bisexual? It's more than, she can. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not against bisexual women. Okay. And you said you got the facial hair because when you started changing your hormones? Mm-hmm. Wow. It was longer than this, but I cut it every so often. Wow. Oh, okay. Well, well. Um, Assad, Philly. Does woman gotta be in Philly? Nah, she don't gotta be in Philly. What's the age range you would date? Uh, I'm not going lower than 27, and I mean, I don't really mind an older woman. So I say like 27 or like 40, 45. 27 to 45. No biological kids is an Aries entrepreneur, CEO um, in Philly. Um, Asad, give them your Facebook page, baby. It's my name, Asad. Last name is hyphenated more, Terry. A lot All of right. people already found my Facebook because they're already in my inbox. They're already in your inbox. Okay. Um, okay. All right. But, well, keep, keep me posted how it goes, honey. I will do. Bye, bye, baby. Ooh, child.
I, again, I had no idea. I had no idea. Um, yeah. So I do think you have, I understand why men, I guess the women too, you got to start asking the direct question of, were you born with a penis? Were you born with a vagina? I don't think that that's inappropriate to ask anymore because, you know, ooh, chop. 